I ain't she a beauty. Hello everybody, my name is King Kuwato. We're having an amazing day and today we're here on GTA Online customizing a brand new car. This is the Dinka Kanjo SJ. Now Dinka for the most part is inspired by Honda and this car actually is inspired by the Honda Civics from the 5th and 6th generation. Late 90s to early 2000s, I mean the perfect time to be alive for Honda Civics as well as JDM's tuner cars overall. Now this is a coup and I do want to take a look at it, right? Because this is a pretty interesting car. This comes at at 1.3 mil, I believe, or a little cheaper if you go in for the trade price, which is earned with LS car meet reputation. Since I do not have much of that, we are going to buy it at full price. This thing is beautiful. I actually do like this, right? And I know a lot of the people watching this just face value, right? This doesn't look like much, but this is perfect opportunity for a tuner car. And I have so much faith in it. Let's hear that beautiful door sound. Oh, I love how heavy it sounds. One more time. Let's do that. Mmm. Gotta love to see it. Now, it is a four-seater, but it is a two-door. Okay. Pretty standard. Nothing crazy. Now, I'd assume a majority of everything is gonna come from upgrades, right? Ooh! The drifting! Hold up! Oh my god, that's beautiful. I actually love to see that. This thing oversteers a lot. Bro, watch out. So I'm excited for this, right? Just because I love tuner cars, I love JDMs, and I'd say Honda Civics are very much important to me when it comes to tuner cars, right? You can't have a tuner collection without a Honda Civic. They are just staples. Especially the early 2000s with the hatchbacks, especially. Keep in mind, this isn't a hatchback, this is a coupe, but regardless, right? This is still very exciting now i totally forgot where the as the oversteer is very much so apparent and the low grip tires what are stock that is the two main ingredients for a beautiful drifting car i'm so excited for this bro i have about 980,000 to work around with right i haven't played in a while but we still have enough for everything so i do want to take a look mainly at i always go for liveries what kind of liveries we got here we gotta have some nice tuner ones. Same thing, but white. I do like the shopping lists. Those are always cool. Oh my God. Inspired by the beautiful afloat in the great waves off Kanagawa painting. One of my favorite paintings of all time. Sketched speed, I like that. Okay. Now, of course they do go with a lot of um, Eastern influence just because this is inspired by the Honda Civic. Hondas are of course Japanese. You have to, ooh, the Chanel X. Channel X. I call it Chanel. Um, I'm excited for this, bro. This, this, these colors right here. These are very early 2000s, bro. You would love to see it. Oh my god. I like this too. I think there's a very similar livery on um, a different car. I forgot which one it was, but I want to say it was like a racing car. Of course, a Princess Robot Bubblegum. There has to be. This is a nice gradient though. Um, let's see. Okay, so out of all of these, right, I actually kind of like the gradient on this, but we're not going to go with that because I think the Dinka Fudo, um, or I think it's a Dinka, has a lot of very similar, you know, setup to it. And bro, I mean, oh my god, you just have to take a look at this, bro. It's so nice, it really is. So I think when it comes to this car, right, I will be the father. I think we're going to go with a nice, um, I don't want to be basic and go for my, my dark blue, bro, but I just might have to. My favorite thing is a midnight blue. Where is it at? I will never forget this colorway. Oh my God. But this is a uh, tuner car, right? So I think go for like one of these colors. This is very early 2000s, just to pay homage for our livery. Oh my, that black actually doesn't look bad at all. I thought it was going to be all black, but it kind of grades into the, the actual color. Oh, I like, I like both of these, bro. I'm going to go for this, just to not be too basic. Front bumpers, right? This one's already, you know, the tow hook, you have to. Ooh, ooh, not bad. Bro, I, I don't know. I, it's just, I see red in the front and my, my neurons activate, you know? I always love the intercooler look, but the side license plate, bro, is so iconic. 
you have to with the toe hook. Let's see, do I go low? Got a little bumper. Ooh. Wait, what? This comes with a splitter too? Ooh, this is gonna be a bro, dude, the customization is crazy. This little mini bumper delete along with the splitter? Bro, like this is this is actually crazy. I love how much detail they bring in. Look at the old muffler too. I mean they really do bring in a lot of the old the old school, you know? And it, it's great to see, it really is. Yeah, we're gonna go with the racer MK2. If that car was a woman, i guess her. Me too, bro. Me too. Now on the Oh my god! Wait, this is the first time I've ever seen this. I think this is a brand new engine. Oh, they had to. For the old schools, bro. For the old schools. I'm gonna put this as a uh, ice white for now. I like that. Yeah. All the way. And our strut brace. I kind of want to keep it minimalistic this time around. Maybe like carbon. The carbon. Ooh. The tri strut. I kind of. Bro, that, that this is kind of cool. We're gonna keep the XL tower strut brace, bro, because I do like that a lot. I kind of like the OG, bro. As much as I love the tuner, that's cool. I like how the stock doesn't fire up, but everything else does. Good catches? We have to. Oh my. Bro, look at this! It's the first time I've seen the skinned hood. And then the see through. The see through has always been really cool. I think it used to be called the Vanity Hood, didn't it? And they changed it to the see-through? Or maybe they're just different things. I like, I like, I like, uh, ooh. Like Looking that. Sharp. Let me get this. And the steering wheel. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. Ooh, now the mirrors. I feel like the mirrors... Oh, yes, bro! You got to! You have to! Oh, my God, bro. I, I just... I feel like they put so much detail into this car, bro. So realistic. Um, I'm gonna get these. The more rounded out ones. That's so cool. And for our roof... Let me get some roof fins. Ooh. A roof spoiler. Yeah, yep. Ooh! Now, you can easily see where this is from. For all my car people. This speaks very early 2000s Honda Civic. I'm gonna put the roof bars on, bro. Try something different. I kind of like. Let me do the white. Now our. Oh, I didn't even see that down there, bro. What the heck? Um, let's see. Ooh, I like the GTs. Dude, this car, like they they did a lot for this car. I'm not gonna lie. Dang, this is uh. I love the white trim. But I do like the cannons a lot. So we're going to go with the Arc MK2. For our spoiler. This is going to be tough. Because I don't know what type of vibe I should go for. You know? Ooh, the tuner. Dude, they, they did their thing with this. Oh, I like this a lot. What the heck? I like how sleek this one is. But this is a unique spoiler. I have never seen this spoiler. That could be because I haven't played in a while white you have to slammed oh yes please bro yes love it oh my god it's just it's so different bro you know um i think for the color like <laughs> just go white and blue you know oh wait this color is way better okay so i like this color right the dark blue um but Midnight Blue, right? <laughs> so, I am torn. I don't know. This is a hard choice. I'm gonna keep it Dark Blue. I like that. That's a hard choice for me, bro. But I will keep it like that. So, we are gonna take this one more stop. Just to get some nice little headlights on it. But, bro, I love how this turned out. This is a beautiful car. They drift. I love this, bro. Y'all let me know. How did I do on this? I did great. I know. Now, crazy enough, y'all, like, on my drive here, I kind of feel like I do need to put some some actual, uh, 
What you call it? Some low grips on. Cause the bulletproof, I feel like I feel like the the way that the car is just made, you gotta put it on. You know, I do want to make these blue because I love how that looks. I'm kind of thinking maybe I should make them white for the old time's sake, or keep them stock. But this is a tuner car, so I will make it blue. Oh my! Hey, hold on. Yes, you have to. You have to. I didn't even see the little detail. Yep, I'm putting that on. Maybe make it a secondary. Yeah, we're gonna do secondary for this. And just like that, we are done with our brand new Dinka Kanjo SJ. Now, I think this is easily my favorite tuner car. The only thing that really stood out to me a lot was the Sultan. Everything else is really cool, right? I love the tuner cars in this game. Don't get me wrong, I love every single one of them. But when it just comes to the, the Sultan, right? The Sultan was always different for me. Now that we have this, bro, I mean, oh my God. And I do wanna take a look at this while I'm standing outside of it, right? We are going to turn it on. Why is that train so loud? I feel like I was able to do a lot. I was really able to come up with the theme in my brain and really take it on. I think the tertiary red color is so beautiful and I tried to put on that, the hood catches too. Just the fact that I was able to get this very, very small detail, this very small light on the back of our spoiler. It, it really just brought it all together, right? Um, I love it. Everything about this is really nice to me. I love the blue on it. If anything, I would change it to midnight blue, but I love how it is right now just because, like I said, I feel like it really encapsulates the early 2000s look. And I mean, they just put so much depth into this car. Everything from the way, that, like the small little gap in between this hood spoiler, it really it really just like gives that 2000s feel to it along with this now this this in particular this design for um rearview mirrors was very popular in the early 2000s so it's really good to see bro the fact that you can slam it all the way down to where the the wheels are sideways that's my favorite thing that's why i like the sultan so much and now they really just made the perfect car Anyways, y'all, that is it for today. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to let me know. I'll be more than happy to provide some more content. Of course, um... Ooh, I like the spinniness on this car. Like I said, since the other car came out, the, uh, whatever it's called. If you guys want to see my customization on that, be sure to let me know. I'll be more than happy to provide. And like I said, bro, this is a perfect, perfect car. Have a great day, y'all. Stay safe. Take care. Peace, audio, and until next time. Bye-bye.